breaking news alert. Breaking news tonight at 6 o'clock. City Council members speaking out after a scathing new report exposing lead poisoning in public housing. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Tiffany Tucker. And I'm Nicole Versansky. Brian Duffy is off tonight. At 4, we told you how the report shows CMHA hasn't been following strict guidelines when it comes to lead exposure. Brittany Weir joining us live now in Cleveland. Nicole and Tiffany, I went through 44 pages of this report and right on the second page, it exposes some of the major health problems. Uh, according to this report, people who are living in public housing here in Cuyahoga County are at a greater risk for lead poisoning. Now City Council expressing their concerns. After our report at four, they say they want an explanation and a solution to these health problems. The United States Department of Housing and Urban Development is calling out public housing in Cuyahoga County. HUD's new report states that the Cuyahoga Metropolitan Housing Authority did not properly report children who suffered from lead poisoning. There were 10 confirmed cases, but HUD was not alerted to any of them. And there were four additional cases HUD says they could not verify. Now city council members are asking for Cleveland's director of public health to do an independent review. They're also calling for all children living in CMHA property to be tested for lead poisoning. Councilman Richard Starr said in a statement, I am deeply concerned about the living conditions and housing equity for residents of Cleveland. As someone who grew up in the CMHA King Kennedy housing in the central neighborhood during the 1980s, 1990s and 2000s, I am committed to addressing the significant challenges faced by the community in this regard. According to the report, once these children were found to have lead poisoning, CMHA did not complete adequate environmental investigations. Instead, HUD says they painted over the walls in the homes where the children could have been exposed. 19 News has tried reaching out to CMHA a number of times for an interview. Your call is being answered by Audix. However, we have still not heard back. And Cleveland City Council says they want to collaborate with the Building and Housing Department, the Department of Public Safety, and HUD to make sure that everyone can live in a safe environment. Live in Cleveland, Brittany Weir, 19 News.